many people that I roast without fear or favor. Why this big oversized clown looking shoe? Hey y'all, Chantel here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining today. If you're seeing me for the first time and you like what you see, please subscribe. Also turn on your bell icon so you're notified each time I put up content on here. All right. Thank you. the finale of a chocolate love story yesterday the 28th of may was the white wedding between inidima okoje now mrs abasi and her husband in your can we talk about the entrance the entrance was so perfect the a cappella group everything was just so emotional smoke effect you could see that there was so much in love i wish them all the best congratulations you both if you ever get to see this video <laughs> as it's our tradition here we're going to be roasting the fashion in the wedding the First off, I'm going to be talking about the bride's wedding dress. She's wearing this classic white off shoulder number with some ruching around the waist the ruching connects to a train her skin is glowing which i'm here for jewelry choice is very dainty her hair is accessorized with faux pearl it's so beautiful for years to come this dress will still speak volume it's made of satin it's so 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 beautiful not a lot going on but it speaks volumes like i said i really love this dress for the first time ever in the history of Chantel Ayao's fashion roast I will be giving her a 10 out of 10 for this look she looks so glamorous I'm here for a defeat of it on her amazing it's so 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 beautiful it was made by Marcel Bridal and they did such an amazing amazing job 10 over 10 bridey you look good her husband done a tuxedo with bow tie black and white classic as well with patent leather shoes he looks so good he's complimenting her very well simple and straight to the point like I said classic everything about this look just cream sophistication and yeah I'm here for it I will also give her husband a 10 out of 10 yes it's so hard for me to say that 10. i don't know why when i became that person but yeah they are getting 10 over 10 for this first look next is the reception outfit for both bride and groom the bride is wearing this lace dress with corset details it also has some pearl drapings on the sleeves it's so beautiful it's a straight cut dress same hairstyle and change her earrings to layered um four pearl earring makeup still on point looking very fresh her husband donned a blazer and black pants with sneakers i will give both of them a 9 out of 10 for the second look yeah yes let's start with the bride and the groom next we're going to move over to the bridesmaids definitely in tune with the theme which is a chocolate love story they all wore a chocolate off shoulder floor length dress with corset details it's so beautiful simple satin dress their hair was up in a ponytail earrings were all uniform they had on pearl earrings makeup was on point for everybody all the bridesmaids looked so 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 good for the bridesmaids dresses i would give a 9 out of 10 because it's very comfortable they could move they could dance very well in it yeah they looked so well put together melanie was popping left right and center they looked really really amazing now we're so getting I'm into the wedding guest proper the main people that i roast without fear or favor next person is shayi mint shayi mint donned a jacket and pants set with a belt he's also wearing a satin high neck or button down shirt underneath with bow tie i actually think that this look is quite cool he looks like a cool dude but the boots the shape of it the heel looking like a woman's boot very off does it compliment this look not at all in my boots next person is renia bina renia bina is wearing this dual chrome dress that gives off purple it gives off blue it gives off pink and she paired it with a purple cloth and black shoes with silver detail makeup is minimal jewelry is minimal as well she just let the dress do the talking looks very wedding guest appropriate i will give her an 8 out of 10 for this she looks really nice noble ligue showed up in a chocolate suit with a beige colored hat true choice is a loafer he also accessorized with some chunky jewelry and a see-through glasses this jewelry i think he should have let go of i will give noble ligue a 7 out of 10 for this look toby care showed up to a chocolate love story in this pink beautiful number it's an above the knee 
straight dress with balloon sleeves and some bow details on the neckline she paired it with a pearl headband she's looking very wedding guest ready i love her shoes as well all the details are well put together i really love her makeup i love her choice of jewelry she looks so stunning she looks like a barbie doll i would give tommy care a 9 out of 10 for this wedding guest look aka is next in a matching blazer set with bow tie and black shoes it's very safe i love his glasses i love the um blue velvet detail i love the length of the pants on him the sleeve of the jacket amazing everything is well put together and he looks very dapper i would give aka a seven out of ten for this next person on my list is waje waje wore this floral blazer set with a nude bandu underneath she has on this extra headpiece that i don't think was needed because the blazer set is already very busy she paired it with gold clutch and nude pink shoes i will give yj a 7 out of 10 for this look just because this extra headband wasn't needed to be honest i love the pop of purple with the makeup nude lips hair is on point um her skin is glowing and she also cut the bouquet so watch out next for yj's wedding fashion rose amen <laughs> that's if she wants that yeah yeah. Next is Omaomi. She's turned in this two-piece set. It's a powder blue peplum top with matching wide leg pants. I really like this look. It's strapless. I love her jewelry. I love the pop of color against her skin tone. She looks really good. I will give Omaomi an 8 out of 10 for this. The next person is the orange nerd. He wore a velvet blazer with rhinestone details and a clip paired it with black satin shirt with a plain black pant with these funny looking shoes i don't know why men are wearing these funny looking shoes these days please someone should let me know if i missed the memo if this is the new in in terms of footwear for men because i'm not getting it the orange net looks good he looks wedding guest appropriate the sleeve of the blazer though i think it's a little bit too short for his arm length I think it should have gone down a bit more but it's not noticeable at all it's just meticulous me looking and looking and zooming in and noticing things that don't concern me i will give the orange nerd a 7 out of 10 for this sean Fakwa is next in this velvet blazer white button down shirt a bow tie black pants and loafers he looks stunning he looks wedding ready purple against his skin tone is beautiful i would give him a 7.5 out of 10 for this ibrahim went with an all black look he's wearing a baroque print blazer with a black shirt underneath a black bow tie and black plain pants his shoe is a mix of patterns and matte leather he looks well put together these beads on his wrist though not working his wife homer complimented him so well she's wearing this draped detail floor length dress with sheer details and some stones around the bust area it looks good i love the fit of it on her i love the material underneath it's giving skin tone yet nothing is showing i really like this look i will pair them together in terms of my rating and give them an 8 out of 10 Adesua, Miss Simplicity, is next. <laughs> Mrs. Wellington, don't mind me. She's next in this three-piece set. She opted for a blazer. The waistcoat's underneath. The waistcoat is matching with the pants. Her blazer is a metallic toned color. It's giving silver. It's also giving black. The high-waisted pants has velvet piping on both sides to match with the lapel of the blazer. Paired it with black shoes. Her hairdo is nice. I love the pop of red in terms of her makeup. Jewelry on point. I would give Adesua a 9 out of 10 for this. She looks really good. She looks stunning. Well put together. She's just looking like money. A strong woman. I'm here for it. Kiki O'Malley stunned in this red floor length dress with uh, some detail on the neckline. It has a cold shoulder as well. It's beautiful. It's floor length. It's just simple. She paired it with a burgundy hair her makeup is nice she went with silver jewelry i really like this look i would give kiki a 7 out of 10 for this jemima osunde wore this floor length black dress with sheer detail simple and sophisticated very classy i would give jemima an 8 out of 10 for this etim f young wore a beige suit with white bow tie and white button down shirt he paired it with a brown watch and um, brown shoes brown 
socks he also accessorized the jacket with this silver dangling thing i don't like the length of the pants i don't know if that is the style the length of the jacket as well if the length of the pants was a few inches longer it would have looked better and the jacket looks small on him it looks tight i will give this look a six out of ten his wife toya see on the other hand looks stunning i love the pop of color orange i guess her skin tone is perfect i love her pores She's wearing this floor length orange dress with a high slit it looks so beautiful it's off shoulder it has another detail on the sleeve her makeup is beautiful i love her earrings i love everything about this look i'm in love with her purse it's giving everything it's supposed to give i will give toyo c a 9 out of 10 for this wedding guest look b sola is the next guest on my list she wore this green straight dress with a high slit it also has a plain and pattern thing going on i love the way her hair was styled it's a frontal wig I love her makeup it's matching with the dress bisola looks so stunning this is the type of style i want to be seeing bisola in it showed her beautiful decolletage i would have prevent that she carried a different bag though this black thing that she's carrying is not going but i'll still give her a nine regardless because she looks good ketesha is next she wore a chocolate brown off shoulder dress simple and beautiful the fit of it on her amazing she wore a brown dress for the traditional and she's bringing it again so she just wants to go with the theme a chocolate love story and i'm here for it i will give her an 8 out of 10 for this look kemen fitness is next a big brother ex housemate kemen wore a blazer a suit actually with pattern tie underneath and a white plain button down shirt he accessorized his jacket with a pin it's a double breasted blazer looking at it I like it but once I switch to the next picture I'm like what is going on where are your socks came in what type of shoe is this why this big oversized clown looking shoe for that i'm going to be giving kemen a seven out of ten if he had opted for dressy shoes with this look he would have easily been an eight or even a nine lillian affair is next in this sequin floor length dress i like all the details going on on this dress it's a lot to mention i love her hair choice short and beautiful makeup on point i will give lily affair an 8 out of 10 for this look Take Makinwa is next in this beautiful dress it has a lot of details going on it's black velvet with some appliques it's off shoulder with purple different material on the lower part it has a big bow at the back it has a lot of details like i said but it's not flattering on her this dress is not giving the Take Makinwa shape that i like she's looking bigger than she actually is because of the extra material on the waistline besides that is a very beautiful look i will give toke a 7 out of 10 for this look very appropriate for a wedding but just the fit of it is not flattering in my opinion the last person in this roast is wafai father wafai father wore a mint green dress it's actually a color block dress it has mint green it has lemon green and it has dark green as well so the dark green has some details on the front area and she paired it with a red fascinator silver bag and um, red lips in terms of makeup her hair was styled in a ponytail i felt like if she had lost the fascinator this look would have spoken more i would give wofai father a six out of ten for this Moving over to my best and worst dress. For best dressed female, I would definitely give it to Tomika. Tomika looked so beautiful. I really love her overall. Very wedding dress appropriate. Best dressed male is Aka Nani. I really like his overall look. I love the monochrome thing going on. Love how simple and dapper he looks. Everything about this look is amazing and I'm here for it. Worst dressed male, I would give to Shayi Mint. I really don't understand this whole ensemble i'm not here for it he has a pulse everything is just clashing he has got to be my worst dressed male for the night uh, who is my worst dressed female i don't think there's anybody that did not bring it oh yeah the only person i would say didn't really bring it did not give me what she was supposed to give is will fight father and she has got to be my worst dressed female you already know the drill let me know your best and your worst dress in the comment section rate all the people i mentioned as well and let's just keep it going in the comment section thank you all so much for watching i will see you in my next one subscribe if you haven't already okay thank you thank you thank you bye y'all